gonna be my Dubai vlog. Luke is here for work and we're here for two weeks. Today is the seventh and we've been here since the second. We've been here for five days. Wow, time is just flying. I kind of took the weekend to catch up on work. I was editing my last volley vlog, which honestly takes so, so long. And then I also had a podcast go up, episode go up yesterday. I was just editing so much. I didn't really have much to show you guys on the vlog. So I thought I would just start today. I also was like a bit jet lagged and just like totally out of it the first couple days. So I'm finally feeling like good. And not as stressed as I was when I first got here. Today, I think we're going on a yacht for one of Luke's clients. It's like it's, it's his birthday and he lives in Dubai and he invited us to go on a yacht with him today. So that's the fun thing for today, which I'm really excited for. Boat days are always fun. I want to make some breakfast and go do a little workout this morning. All ready for my workout. My skin actually is doing better ever since I got to Dubai. I think it was just like freaking out in Bali because there's honestly so much pollution there and there's so much like bacteria in the water that I was using to wash my face and things. It was like abnormally breaking out and it's been doing so much better here. I've also been really good about not like picking my skin at all here. I've really had some good self-control with that. So it's just overall looking better. And I'm headed to my workout. Got my Topshop Boutique sports bra. And then these shorts are Amazon. They're like a free people movement dupe. And then my little Lulu fanny back. There's a gym at the apartment we're staying at, which is so nice. It's like literally a one minute walk from our room. I want to show you guys some of the recipes that I've been making on repeat. One of them is this ground chicken egg breakfast that I started making for Luke and Bali because he started ordering it from this one restaurant and I thought it looked so easy so I decided to just figure out how to make it myself. Now we have it like every morning for breakfast because it's very easy and the ingredients are honestly like very simple. The first thing I do is crisp up some bacon. I've got turkey bacon here but sometimes I'll use regular bacon or beef bacon like really doesn't matter whatever kind of bacon you want. I've got like a teaspoon of ghee in there to help like crisp it up a bit. I've got like a cup of broccoli. I just boil it for like three minutes in some water. And we add a cup of ground chicken into the pan that's already got the bacon grease on it. Add some salt and pepper. Okay, and then once our chicken is cooked, I add two eggs. And that's the final dish. This one I made for Luke, but if I make this for myself, I'll do just half of all of the ingredients. So then I'll make one and a half of these for him and I. And then I give him a side of barbecue sauce, like just a few tablespoons. I like dip everything in. He's obsessed. And it's such a high protein breakfast. Luke and I are on our way to the marina to get on, get on the yacht. It's like 15 minute drive away. Where we're staying is like not in like the central area of Dubai. Like we're kind of on the outskirts. We're going to the like palm area where I guess that's where the, where the yacht is taking off from. Vibing with my outfit. I'm wearing the same Andy baggy sweater I was wearing in my last vlog. But I've got like the matching mini shorts that go with it. Hopefully I can get like a cute photo today or something. I just made a little green tea for the road. Babe, all four of these cigars. All four of these cigars are so much better than the cigars I was smoking. Like these are like literally like some of the highest quality cigars that you can get. Like Cohiba's, Romeo Julietta's, and the same price as like the four as one. At the cigar uh -huh. lounge? Uh -huh. Well, yeah, I mean, I get, it's the same thing as buying alcohol at a bar versus yeah, exactly. at the alcohol store, right? We just got on the boat and Luke's take, making some tequila drinks. Nice, you want soda water? With a splash of uh, watermelon. watermelon. Yeah, but you know, you know, I did. This is last time I was in Dubai. <laughs> I was stupid, bro. Dude, um, dude, I went to yeah. No, last time I went to Dubai in June, I was with some people that fucking splurge, bro. Thanks for the drink, babe. It's really
I'm so hungry, so I made myself a little dinner. I did a chicken avocado wrap. I've got chicken breast here shredded up, tomato, cucumber, some pickled jalapenos, salt and pepper. Oh, and avocado. I don't know if I said that. I kind of just threw everything in to this wrap. I might have tried to add too much stuff in here, but you guys get the idea. I just thought I would share. Good morning, guys. I am having my little green tea this morning. I actually made this as like a cold brew green tea. I just put a tea bag in water in the fridge overnight and made a little iced green tea. I'm going to add some ice cubes. And I have a little straw. I've literally been traveling with these glass straws everywhere I go. And they're honestly so nice to have. I also cut up this little grapefruit. This is like my little pre pre workout. I'm making a salad right now and it looks so good. I did kale, red onion, cucumber, tomato, avocado, pickled jalapenos, chicken breast, and pomegranate seeds. It's like a fall superfood salad this looks so good i didn't do any dressing because i just mashed up the avocado as like my fat and then salt and pepper just super simple this is the beef strips tenderloin and then i made luca lamb burger this has been his like fixation meal lately i tried to like recreate what we've been ordering how is it it's good then i just did some little like beef lettuce wraps with some caramelized onions and tomatoes i'm the real thanks babe. This is dinner. coming to our apartment right now to do my makeup it's pretty early in the morning i think this was like the only time she was available the photographer like organized all of it so i'm just kind of going with the flow we found a makeup artist to collab with which is amazing and i'm sipping on some green tea i just made myself the same breakfast that i made luke the other day the ground chicken egg egg dish it's so yummy it's so full of protein it makes me feel so good i just went to the salon and got a blowout the bob is bobbing the bob is bobbing that's what people keep commenting back on my stories and and like on my tiktoks the bob is bobbing yeah because i just got it cut like really short and bally is that it, called a bob cut no just like bobs around bobs around bops bopsy bops such a treat getting my hair washed and blow dried Honestly, makes so much sense because I would have to buy new tools for every country we go to. I'd have to buy a new curling iron, and I'd have to buy shampoo and conditioner. And then I'd have to carry all that stuff home, which would add my weight to my suitcase, and I'd, I'd, I don't have room. I pay for just blow out. It way more sense economically. That's girl math. Girl math is going to the salon so that I don't have to pay for shampoo, conditioner, and a curling iron. The less I own, the better. Honestly, I think I'm gonna stop traveling around with my hair tools. Wait, why do I bring them everywhere with me? Because they don't even work in the outlets. I'm gonna stop traveling with my hair tools. And they take up so much weight. And I'm just gonna get blowouts when I'm traveling. That's and I don't so have to bring fast. shampoo and conditioner. So fast. And the blowout lasts like a week, so. That's my new plan. So I just got home. I'm like hitting a wall, like an energy wall. I don't think Luke and I slept enough last night. It's just hit the afternoon. And I've already had two green teas today. Lucas had two coffees and we're both like dead. Dead? I like couldn't even film at the salon because I was just like falling asleep in the chair. But I'm gonna make Luke and I some salads for lunch. I had a protein bar at, the, at my hair appointment, but I can definitely use like a something something more. Yesterday I put pomegranate in my salad. I'm gonna do it again because it was so good. Great, this is the song I think about when you say, when you say bop, bop, bop around. This is what I love this song because they're saying her name. Uh -huh. Barbara. It's Barbara Ann. 
I used to be obsessed with the Beach Boys. Really? I like would listen to them all day long. They're honestly such good vibes to listen to. They're so timeless. Okay, I don't know if you guys know this trick about pomegranates, but I'm gonna peel them in water, just in a bowl of water, and then the white parts float to the top. It makes it so much easier to separate the pomegranate seeds. Lay back of the day, check. I'm trying to show more recipes on this vlog because I heard one of you guys at, like say comment on my last video saying like I want to see more recipes and less skincare. <laughs> Why do they want to see less skincare? Well, because I literally do the same thing every day. Like, they don't need to see it, you know? And I kind of, like, haven't been showing a lot of recipes in Bali. Honestly, I wasn't really cooking that much well, there. And recipes change up all the time. Recipes right. are more interesting, yeah. I'm definitely not making the same thing every day. I feel like we have, like, fixation meals that we'll make, like, a lot of. But they change, like, week to week, so it's, like, perfect for the vlog. Luke's current fixation meals is lamb burgers and protein island breakfast. But pom it's pomegranate season. Christmas time is pomegranate season. So if there's certain things you guys want to see more of or like want me to talk about, just comment on this video and then I'll try to incorporate it into next week's video. And then we're gonna do some salt and pepper. I always make sure to get Himalayan salt or sea salt because it has natural minerals in it. And I love fresh cracked pepper the best. The most flavorful. Our, our salads. Guys, I just got to my photo shoot. It's at this park and it's so lovely out right now. It's like warm and windy. It's just like the most pleasant temperature. It's 4 p.m. to the sun. The light is like so golden. And I'm trying to find the photographer. We're like messaging each other on WhatsApp trying to connect this park is huge. Mid shoot, I just shot two dresses. Trying to be low key with my camera because we don't want to get kicked out of this park. So we're just like sneakily taking photos, and I feel like if I also had the vlog camera out, it would just draw more attention to us. I'm about to change into my third outfit, and then we're gonna wrap it up. I'm hoping these photos turn out good. Sometimes I'm like not vibing with like the poses and stuff, and I'm feeling that way. So hopefully they turn out good. This photographer is like really good, so I'm like trusting at the process. But the photographer brought dresses for me to wear, which is so nice. This one is so cute. It's like a corset. It's a little big on me. There's so many cats here. <laughs> Hi, Katie. You my new friend. It's a photogenic dress. It's giving angel such nice vibes at this park right now. There's like literally no one here. Okay, you can see see the this dress a little better. You can see how it's like a little big in the waist. It would be perfect if it looked like that. Just like in the park bathroom right now, changing. I'm gonna put on a house of CV dress next. I'm wearing this dress. My house of CV, it's like a full gown. It's so gorgeous. I'm just gonna touch my hair up. Alright, let's go shoot this. It's not gonna land. It, it is, it is. Have you ever seen a cat flip land? No. Well, you're gonna get this one on camera. It's okay. It's gonna land just like that, all right? Welcome back. It's Friday, right babe? It's Friday. Luke and I have been working all morning. Luke's officially retired now. Fuck, that looks small in the camera. What the fuck? You're compared to your head, babe. See, it looks small. <laughs> but that's because my head's in front of your muscle. Oh, wow. Yeah, see? Oh. <laughs> it's depth, depth perception. I'm just sipping on a green tea as my pre-workout. We're about to head to the gym. Dude, that's a facade. Like, green tea is not a pre-workout. <laughs> yes, it is. It's caffeine. <laughs> yeah, it is. Straight to the dome. <laughs> Straight to the blood club. I love my green tea. I've been on such a green tea kick lately. Let's get a workout in. I got my pink workout set on today and my blowout is like lasting lasting another day usually lasts like a few days when my hair is this short i'm able to work out in just my headband which is nice just made myself some lunch a little turkey sandwich 
turkey and tomato, pickles, onions, mayo, and salt and pepper. Ground floor. Luke and I are on our way to the to a recovery center. We're gonna do a sauna. Are we doing anything else? Cold lunch. We're doing cold lunch? Yeah. Oh shoot, I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. And we're just like reflecting on Bali. I have like a I have like an ick about Bali right now. <laughs> you have the negative connotation of Bali and almost like bad memories there because he was sick the whole time. So we're saying how we don't know if we want to go back anytime soon. And the time zone was hard for him because because you were working till like midnight, 1 a.m. Yeah, on meetings, not, mm -hmm. yeah, which is like crazy. And now I'd get off the meeting and have like 30 minutes of work and yeah. then be just exhausted. Yeah, and so we were going to bed at different times and then kind of waking up at different times. I'd say that the plus about Bali is the service. Anytime we go to Bali, I know I'm never gonna have to do laundry, dishes, clean at all. Like having someone come in and do that is like such a luxury. And they have that everywhere. Like there's just like a given, like a hospitality like baseline there. But like for how thorough it is, like it's so dirty, it's so underdeveloped. Yeah. It's literally a third world country pretty yeah. much. Indonesia is the best the best hospitality I've ever seen in my whole life. It honestly is such a wellness hub. Like I've never seen anything like that in my whole life anywhere else in the world. They like understand the whole body differently. So this place called Loka. We got a a side bowl. We got like a protein a protein topping, and they literally just put whey protein on top. At least whey protein powder tastes good. I'm after you. dinner. Luke's taking a break from his meetings to join me. I made like a little salmon bowls for us with arugula and mango. Ooh. And then we got Oreo protein ice cream afterwards. Yum. Hello vlog. I haven't talked to you yet today. Luke is filming you. Yeah. So I need to whisper. I'm getting ready for a date with Luke. I'm trying to figure out what to wear. I have this like gray mini dress. I just scrubbed my spray tan off though, so I'm looking pretty pale. So I'm not sure if this is the move. And I feel like this would be a perfect outfit if we were going to like an outdoor restaurant. But we're going to an indoor restaurant, so it'll probably be a bit chillier inside. It might be cold in this, but once I leave Dubai, I won't be able to wear this dress, so like I kind of want to wear it. I'm also ironing this like long sleeve one. I'm gonna finish ironing it and then try it on people so it'll keep me warm in the restaurant. Whoa, this goes up fast. Luke and I just got to the St. Regis for going up to the 51st floor. <laughs> the ears are literally popping. For our dinner reservation, we're going to this place called Sushi Samba. How, I didn't even know this was that tall. 51's high. Yeah, we're at 35. My ears are popping as well. But I honestly have a bit of fear of heights, so. 51. I ended up choosing this outfit. Oh god, yeah, we want that. Thank you. Thank you. Babe, that's so good. Yeah, I, I forgot about the French 75. Last time I had that was in Whistler. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, this salad is very unique. Yeah. It's so good. That salmon sashimi is 
you literally can't go wrong with salmon sashimi at a nice restaurant. And it's always the best.